Hey guys, how you doing? So, algorithms in 2024, they're dead, man. It's over. Not only are algorithms dead in 2024, there's a dirty secret about algorithms, a secret that has not been told since the inception of the algorithm craze. You're going to learn all about this right now. So what killed algorithms in 2024? Chat GPT. That's it. It's over. Now, Chat GPT can reproduce any type of algorithm you want, and it does a pretty good job. You see, AI is not going to replace developers anytime soon because AI cannot do all kinds of different things and put it all together and make a nice package, which is called a piece of software. But what it can do is produce boilerplate code and it can produce very finite chunks of code. And that is, my nerdly friends, the definition of an algorithm, a tiny discrete piece of code that you implement so that you can process data more effectively. Chat GPT and a few other things will do that for you like this. So why did algorithms become perceived as being valuable to begin with? What was the reason why everybody went algorithm crazy and started testing for algorithms and started studying algorithms? Why did that happen? Well, it's because of Facebook and Google for the most part. What do we mean by that? Well, these are companies that process huge amounts of data, huge amounts of data, and they need to create highly optimized code, algorithms, part of it, to be able to process that data as, as efficiently as possible. That's why. So when Google started looking for candidates and Facebook, they needed people who knew algorithms and data structure. So what happens is then all the lemmings in the software development industry follow suit without thought. So what do I mean by that? It comes down to basic psychology. Facebook, Google, big players in the room, the alphas, if you will, and all the little betas go, ooh, if Facebook is testing for algorithms and Google is testing for algorithm skills, it must be really important. So they say everybody's going to test for algorithms. So we're a company that develops iOS apps and we're going to test for algorithms. Or we're a web development studio and we develop uh, business web apps and we're going to test for algorithms. Even though in 99.999% of those uh, cases, algorithms will never be an issue. That is the irony really, right? So you have all these companies look at Facebook and Google who do need or they needed before ChatGPT and other things, which I'll get into in a second. So everybody looked at the Googles and the Facebooks, people who were processing huge amounts of data where efficient algorithms had a role to play, for sure. So when you're writing search engines and processing this big data, yes, you need, need to know how to uh, more efficiently process data. Problem is, is that most companies don't need that at all. There are several other skills in software development that are far more valuable than a deep knowledge of algorithms uh, for 99.99% of jobs. That is the funny thing. I, as an old-time nerd, 30 years experience, uh, who has brought SaaS products to market a couple of times, I just chuckled at it. So the other thing that kills the need for algorithms, of course, are the algorithm libraries, right? You know, most of the advanced algorithms and sorting capabilities that uh, we may need, they're all out there. They're all expressed in libraries, sometimes in the core languages themselves. So the days of you having to write complex algorithms, even if you need them, are like a few and far between, right? This is just something we don't do. For example, back in the day when I started in the 90s, a lot of people would come up with their own type of uh, databases mostly flat file databases, which are basically the precursors to uh, NoSQL databases. But we'd come up with our own comma delimited, uh, tab delimited, whatever it was. And then people would come up with their own uh, methods to process that data. Very primitive. But then people got wise, why are we reinventing a wheel? We're just going to use a relational database and our object database. And later on, then NoSQL databases became a thing. But again, Nobody in their right mind is going to be writing their own uh, databases from scratch when you got all these solutions out there. Same thing with content management systems. I've developed my own content management systems, my own mailing systems. I, don't, I just trashed them all when you had uh, the big boys came out with MailChimp or um, 
WordPress or Drupal, why would you recreate these things when they're all there, all available for you? Same thing with so many algorithms, the sorting and, and the different types of sorting and the efficiency that you, you can get from an algorithm. A lot of these things are expressed in libraries that are just easy for you to go boop like this. If you need to start writing some custom stuff from scratch, then you would just leverage uh, a chat GPT or some other AI. That will uh, uh, probably take care of the job in a fraction of the time. So yeah, uh, that's what's killing algorithms today, the need for algorithms. Those are the two things in terms of technology, but there's a third thing. And that third thing is that people are realizing what I'm just telling you now. They're not really that important. So there's one big myth that is floating around out there about algorithm, being able to write good algorithms. And that myth is that somehow being great at writing algorithms is gonna make you a better developer or more effective coder. No, sir. Unless you're in the business of writing algorithms. You see, writing finite chunks of code in the form of algorithms will not make you better at building web apps, building iOS apps, building your typical business app. It won't. There's so many other skills in software development are far more important than algorithm writing. Like, I put algorithm writing at the very bottom, way down here. Like, being able to just to write clean emails, simple emails to, to uh, express ideas are a thousand times more important being, than being able to write uh, an algorithm. So what are those skills that are so much more important than algorithm? Well, the top one is writing clean and well-structured code, implementing best practices. Number two, uh, understanding the de design patterns, maybe the top five de design patterns. Number three, being able to refactor, understanding refactoring. And from there, depending on the type of programming you get into, there's little uh, specialization. So for example, if you're in the web stack, understanding the nuances of the request response cycle, the server client model, that's uh, top skills there. Another top skill would be just understanding the uh, various database types, when it makes sense to use an SQL database, otherwise known as a relational database, when it makes sense to use a NoSQL database, when it makes sense to even use an object-based database. This set of skills are far more important than understanding the intricacies of algorithms. So yep, the illusion of the algorithm is quickly fading. I'm hoping to help with that. And another myth, I'll uh, insert that in with the algorithm, is the myth that advanced math is required to be a great developer. Again, that's another myth perpetuated by, uh, I think, the universities, by these professors who they just know math, they know math, they want to teach math, so they say, oh, you got to learn math to be a programmer. Although they haven't rec actually been in production writing, they haven't written production code uh, in 30 years if they ever read, wrote it at all. So yeah, math is another... Uh, one of those mythological skill sets that you need to be a developer. You don't. For 99% of development, it's add, subtract, occasional multiply, divide. That's about it. And if there's any super advanced math that you're going to need to implement in terms of your software writing, again, just like the algorithms, there are libraries you can leverage that you can just plug in your input and get your output. So you understanding the intricacies of the math. And again, another just like with algorithms, being great at math has nothing to do with you being great at writing code. Like, nothing. I'm Uncle Steph. I've been writing code since 1994, commercially. I started learning how to code in the 80s, but commercially. I've written software for very large multinational companies, small businesses, built my own SaaS products, freelance for years. I understand the game. So I'm here to just share my knowledge uh, based on industry. And uh, you can find me at UncleSteph.com. And if you disagree with this video, give me two thumbs down and then tell me how much you hate my uh, video. Uh, if you think my hair is too long, please give me two thumbs down. And if you like Ruby, uh, give me two thumbs down. All right, we'll talk soon.